So I want to try one more filter technique. Um, this is with the, the better sensor, the, the module that hasn't got the smudge or floater on it. And so I'm just going to take out this one that I you know, recently built using the glue technique and just try one with uh, where I place the, uh, the filter in the opening and then without any glue just a little bit of well, this is seated a little more firmly not too much worry about it popping out or being unable to stay in place in flight I think there we go. So, as before, I just want to take one of these these little rubber washers, um, three eighths by seven eighths by sixteenth of an inch thick, and. Uh, Basically, uh, using one of the IR cup filters placed inside the opening after this has been trimmed to fit in the, the lens mount opening. And then just use a little dab of, instead of the adhesive uh, shoe glue material, just uh, use a little bit of uh, uh, Gorilla Black Tape uh, uh, to secure on either side of it with some small pieces. That's basically the technique that I had used on this filter where I had not placed the IR cut filter inside the opening but instead had tried to glue it atop the opening. Which uh, will just mark the nominal half inch opening uh, measurements on this, uh, this washer. be able to cut it to size. This is certainly not precision work but needs to be done fairly carefully. And as I mentioned before I found that whether cutting with scissors or whether trying to cut with a an exacto knife one of the tricks is that the elastic washer material tends to deform as you're cutting it so it's easy to not be able to get perfectly straight um, cuts if you will. So we'll see how we do on this guy and in the same spirit you can always cut off a little more but you can't uh, cut off less right so let's keep that in mind as we're going here. Got that a little thin on one side, but let's see how it looks overall. Just a little bit too large in this other dimension, so I'll just trim a little bit off this side if I can. This is where, as I mentioned, I've had some misfortune cutting the edge of the opening to be avoided. It looks like we've got a fit. So then we'll just go ahead and Fit one of these IR cut filters, the nine and a half millimeter, right into the opening in the in the gasket hole, gasket material, I should say. Got a couple of them left. Those were not very expensive at all. So there's the filter in the opening and so my thought here was just to go ahead and as I had done before um, take some small pieces of uh, the Gorilla Glue and just use them to provide 
uh, additional security for the filter in, in place. Using a slightly different technique this time, rather than trying to curve the pieces, I'm just seeing if I can place some, uh, some thin pieces right at the edge. crops the uh, IR filter a little bit, but my thought is it will be an insignificant amount. Like so. Excess. I'm trying to repeat that on the other side. This may be a bit of overkill in that it's not clear that the filter is going to be going anywhere, but just in the spirit of trying to have a little more security for it in, uh, as it's bounced around in flight was the thought. and see how we do it. My friend Jack Topin uh, did give me a lot more confidence in uh, the durability and, and uh, scratch resistant of these filters and their coating such that I'm not as worried about damaging that per se but I had less and it may just be my skill or less. I had some difficulty in using the uh, the shoe glue without getting a fair amount of residual material uh, kind of further onto the face of the filter than I would have preferred although it didn't seem from the test images that I just took that it's that much of a factor but nonetheless I thought I would at least take a look at this alternate technique again just trying shooting for just a little bit of overlap and then a little dab of trimming in order It looks like I haven't got it smudged up. It looks pretty clean. enough extra material around the edges that this is going to be a tighter fit or than I had thought. Or that the lens is vulnerable to being pressed out, which appears to be the case. This, uh, this mounting piece just a little too big for this to work smoothly. I thought it was about right, but it doesn't appear to be. So whether or not I can trim this now with all the additional tape on is a question mark, huh? for us.
too bad. All right, let's see. Let's button it back up and try it again. See what kind of shape we're in with this configuration.